Recently, I acquired an APC network managed power strip and I want to install it in my home rack so I can just because I can basically. So in this video we'll be trying to install it which is going to require quite a bit of sort of rearranging of the rack so you, you can watch as I probably destroy my entire network and have to spend a while fixing it. So yeah this will be interesting. So currently my rack is powered through this switch thing that I built. This is entirely homemade, it's not great. Um, and it allows me to switch various things on and off. The main thing is the AV equipment, which I have to be able to switch on and off easily because it powers the AV receiver, the subwoofer, the projector and stuff. And I don't want to leave that on 24-7, so it's nice to be able to switch that off. However, I'm going to be replacing this with the APC. So, all this is going to be coming out, and then I'm going to put the APC at the very bottom. I'll then move the server down a couple of you and put an additional rack shelf in, and that rack shelf will hold the modem and the Raspberry Pi over there. I'll probably also move the HDMI matrix switch that's currently stuck to the side of the rack with some double sided tape and actually put that on the shelf as well. So that'll be fun. So the next step is shut all the equipment down and start removing it from the rack too. stuff removed from the rack. So this plug went into the wall. I had to take the top off to fit it through a hole in the back of the rack. Um, obviously it had the plug top in it when it was in use. This trailing socket went into a power brick that powered the fan that was in the rack. And this trailing socket powered all the AV equipment which plugged into it. Then this cable went to the UPS. So yeah, all that's now gone. We can now have something a lot nicer and more professional. So I've just tried roughly putting this in the rack to see how it will all fit. And it turns out that the strain relief on the plug is going to be far too close to the glass and that's not going to bend round properly. So what I'm going to have to do now for even more fun is move these bars back so I can actually try and fit, get a bit more space at the front. Clearance at the rear is fine, none of the equipment's that deep, but I do now need to move all of it back. And I'm going to try doing it with all the equipment pre-installed, well, with all this stuff pre-installed because that is not going to be fun to move. So let's see if this works or if it all comes crashing to the ground and I break everything. That was surprisingly successful. Um, I actually moved all the equipment back without destroying any of it, which is nice. Um, and now we have plenty of clearance for this cable to plug in out the front and route around the back. So this rack's actually quite nice. Each of these bars is just held with a single bolt at the bottom. So all I did was loosen each of those bol bolts off and then very carefully slide it all back with it sort of tilting in weird ways. It did survive. It was probably very much not recommended in the instructions and probably a bit bad, but it was fine. Everything survived and that saved me having to remove the network stuff and the AV receiver which has been, been a complete pain to get out. So yeah, now on with putting more stuff in. connected everything up I think so let's switch it all on and see if it works or all explodes we, we will see I have not tried this yet oh, so the APC is now flashing as it's starting up so hopefully the APC will start and then power everything on oh displays on it oh. and there we go that is everything now firing up. There's a switch booting, so yeah. That looks very, very good I suppose, yeah. Everything's, everything looks like it's running happily. Well, I mean, I've not switched everything on, but everything is now starting up. So, yeah, that's a very good sign. So what I now need to do is put the door back on the rack and actually move it all into the corner, which is going to be incredibly hard because it's on carpet, it doesn't have wheels, and it's full of stuff. So. That's going to be fun, um, but once I get it back in the corner, everything should be good. 
So now after a huge amount of rearranging and rewiring, the PDU is now properly installed. So you see here it is down here at the bottom of the rack, fits very neatly. There's the main power feed in. Then we have the modem and the fan are connected through this. Then this followed by the root, the switch, the router, the server, the Unify access point PoE injector, followed by this which goes to this Dell PC over here, and this which powers all the AV equipment. The AV equipment and the modem and fan, both of those are IEC leads wired into normal mains extension lead strips, so that allows me to plug in the regular plugs. Um, and yeah, and there's a network connection there up to everything. So it actually is really, really neat, so I'm really happy with it. The only complaint is that the current meter on this only does full numbers, so because they don't pull much, it just permanently sits on zero amps, which is a bit annoying. I quite like it, you know, if it says 0 0.5 amps or something, but I mean, <laughs> it's purely for aesthetic looks, it's just, it doesn't really matter, it's not a huge deal. Um, the other thing I've put in for a bit of fun, and completely over-engineered everything, as I tend to do, is this switch. So what I have is, I have all my AV equipment, which consists of an amplifier, a PC, projector, a subwoofer sitting over there, and this matrix switch here for HDMI. And I want to be able to switch that on and off when I'm not using it. It's mainly due to this thing, because it's a cheap, dodgy, generic thing, and I don't quite trust its power adapter to be left on 24-7. Plus the power efficiency of running stuff is just not ideal. So I used to have a switch to switch it on and off, but now because it's going through this, I would have to do it through the web interface, and that's not easy if I just want to watch TV. So what I did is I, got, I, was, I wired up the switch, so I can switch the switch on. And you can see the matrix switch all switches on and all the AV equipment comes on. If I switch it off again, it switches off. So what this is, it's completely over-engineered, is this switch is wired up to an Arduino, uh, Arduino Nano, which is hiding around the back of the server in a plastic case. Um, the Arduino Nano is then connected into this server over USB. The server then runs a Python script that reads from serial on the Arduino, and when it sees a switch state change, which is printed to serial by the Arduino, it will telnet into the power strip and switch the switch. So you'll see when I flick this, the network light will actually blink and it will switch on and off. It's, I mean, ridiculously over-engineered, but it does work, so hey, it, I built a thing. So there you have it, that was a quick video of me installing this APC switched PDU in my rack. So it's a pretty nice upgrade, it's definitely better than the home, homemade system I had before that I don't quite trust, it's a lot more trustworthy because it's a proper professional device. I can switch things on and off if I need to and it is now remote managed so I don't know if I'm away from home and the server goes down I can always reboot it remotely. So yeah it's pretty cool. So thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. You can also visit my website at camerongray.me and follow me on Twitter at camerongray1515. Thanks for watching.